Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of the most basic and well-designed floor plans in the RV industry. This is a 2021 Winnebago Spirit Model 31K. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the World's Wine Channel, giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I'm super excited to be taking a look at the Winnebago Spirit. It's their top of the line Class C, and this is such a basic floor plan, but I really do like the features. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everyone! How's it going? It's beautiful here today in Florida. Yeah, hey. nice little breeze. Sorry about that, y'all. Yeah, I apologize. We can't help but that it's warm. Andrea, <laughs> your hair is a cute hot mess. It's a mess, yes. Yeah. Just like me, I'm a mess. No, so, no. Let's check out this Winnebago Spirit. Um, I want to see this basic floor plan. Yeah, it's basic. It gets the job done. And I think it checks off a lot of boxes for a lot of customers. Let's begin. Model is 31K. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 32 feet 9 inches. This is a Winnebago Spirit. It's the same exact thing as the Winnebago Mini Winnie. They are called sister products. Okay. Uh, right up here, we have a nice fiberglass front brawl. Okay. So the cap goes right here, and then the seams are right there. They do that because it's less likely to leak that way. This is a 2021, so it does. It is powered on the E450 chassis, and it does have the 7.3 liter Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 foot-pounds of torque. And then look at these tires, Andre. They're the hand cooks. I love those. Dyna Pros. Dyna Pro ALT 225-75R16. That's terrible, Matt. I knew that was a Dyna Pro after you said hand cooked. Dyna Pro, and then right here, <laughs> We do have these nice chrome mirrors with cameras integrated in the left side and right side. Coming down the side here, oh, we do have a nice power awning with that's LED That's a big lights. awning. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. And then two things, this motorhome does have auto leveling. Very nice. And because it's a Winnebago, Andrea, they do use the Asdale sidewall composite which is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. Awesome. Andrea, this might be one of the biggest power awnings I've seen. It is pretty big. Very nice, big. I love the pattern underneath. And there's LED light strips as well. All right. Coming down the side here, you can put a TV on the outside if needed. Right here is going to be your propane tanks, okay? And Andrea, we will have all the specs of this motorhome. Tank sizes, bing, right there. Length, width, tank sizes, everything. So people who on TV, people who are watching on TV can see it. Coming down the side here, I love the water heater color. Okay. Right over here, what's this? Storage. Oh, a little bit. Maybe for like an umbrella or something. Yeah. Uh, coming on down the side here, we do have more storage. Okay. That's a little too. Uh, in case you need two umbrellas. And then right here is where the really nice storage is going to be. Ooh. Very nice storage in the rear. Look at that. Yes. That's great. And then there's also, if we come around the back. We got a place for the uh, stinky slinky right there in the bumper. Yes. Nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Crap. This is locked. But this just shows you another angle of that storage. No pun intended. Yep. Yep. Um, <laughs> we, you, you can get to that on all three sides. You do have a 7,500 pound hitch. This motorhome can't tow 7,500 pounds. You're good with 5,000 pounds. If you do want to more, tow more than 5,000, you need to make sure you don't overload your motorhome. Nice bumper, camera in the rear so you can see left, right, and reverse. Also, you do have a one-piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. Hold on, Matt. Here we go now. All right, up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. There is one AC unit up here. Right over here, you have your King Air digital antenna, and then you do have cutouts for fantastic fans. 
Hold on, Matt. Here we go now. Slow. One more step. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. And then finishing up with the driver's side. Oh, there was only that one storage door. Huh, interesting. Right here is where you dump your black and gray tank, Andrea. Very nice. Here you have a black tank flush. Here's where you fill up your, um, your gasoline, your city water connection, tank fill, everything potable water fill. Potable, potable. Okay. 30 amp unit right there. Okay. Mm, very nice. Right over here. We got a little bit more storage. Nope, that's the Cumino Nan 4000 QG generator. Very nice. What's that mean, QG? Quiet. Quiet. Right, and then this is gonna be a little bit more storage. Okay. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks man, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Don't forget to get the cargo carrying capacity. Okay. Oh, not on the door. It's probably on the passenger door. Okay. Check this out. Interesting, Matt. Andrea, the slide out is Wow, in. look at that. The, <laughs> look at all this for the slide being in. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. It is. S plenty of walkway. And I like that the bed is north and south and you can still use it when boondocking because there's no slide back there. And here is the bathroom. Yes. Wow. Now, Andrea, where you at? Right here. Okay. Uh, just getting the awning in because it's a little windy. And now I need to put the uh, slide out out. And while the slide out's coming out, oh my gosh, gotta do this. Hang on, y'all. I love how they're all different. That emergency brake on. So while the slide out is coming out, we want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, My Waggle. My Waggle is an RV, di a digital RV temperature monitor that you install in your RV. You just plug it in and go, okay? And it will send you alerts if you lose shore power to your RV or if it gets too hot or too cold. This is perfect for you if you bring your pets camping with you. So if you bring your pets camping with you and you decide you want to go out and you can't bring your pets with you, the RV, the My Waggle is going to help keep your pet protected while you're having a good time. So if you're an RVer and you have pets, Andre, what do people need to do? They need to protect their fur babies. And go to MyWaggle.com. They've teamed up with us for 50% off. Very nice. Exclusive to Matt's RV Reviews. Use promo code MAT50 or use our link down below. Andrea, let's continue the video. And then look at this. I Super can't believe spacious. how big that just got. Yeah. Very nice. Let's start up here, Andrea. This feels very good. So look at to see what Winnebago uses. So they actually use a digital screen with their four chassis, which is actually a very nice feature that I really do like. It just looks more modern. It's better. You have this modern steering wheel right here and everything. A flexible mount, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, everything. You're able to see your left side, your right side, really clear screen, and it's super nice. Andrea, would you like to sit in my co-captain seat? Sure. And the cargo carrying capacity is 2,402 pounds. Wow. I'm glad you could see that. Yes. Okay. Oh, comfortable, very yep. comfortable. Yep. Very comfortable. Oh, I like that I'll be able to put my seat back if I need to. Yes, ma'am. I see that there's a privacy curtain, you guys, that goes around here. Yep, yep. Very nice cup holders. And just your typical E-Series yeah. chassis. Now, above the E-Series chassis, we do have a bunk over the cab. I'm actually gonna put that on high now. It's a bunk over the cab right here. This is a cushion that does fill in. Okay, right, very nice. 
Um, good size. I don't know how much down. weight it holds. Do you know? I say 500. I think it's 500 pounds. 500 pounds is very safe bet. 500 pounds for the bunk over the cab. Privacy curtain there. Yep, yep, very nice. And then over here in the living room. I'll be up there. Yep. In the living room, we do have your theater seats right here. Above them is your cabinetry, okay? And again, Winnebago is just doing what they're doing with the uh, plain basic look. And, you know, the more we see them and the more I review them, the less and less I'm liking them. Daytime shades or uh, privacy nope. shades, I mean. Just privacy. Yep. And MCD. I do want to point out over here that, yeah, the automatic leveling is over here, you guys. Uh-huh. Okay. And then right over here, Andrea, is the theater seats. And they do flip out. has a USB over there, I see. Yeah. They do flip uh -huh. out like this. And what is nice is that it is directly across from the television, right over here. Your TV's right here, a DVD player, and Andrea will go over all this in a second. And something that I must say I do like is this very nice U-shaped dinette. Is, that is a humongous dinette. I do love the U-shaped dinettes. They are super nice. I love that big window right there. It just lets in so much natural light. Um, no cabinetries above. I'm okay with that because of the uh, the window and everything. And this does drop down and make a big bed. It sure does. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. You ready for this? Yeah. I don't know if you are. MSRP on this motorhome here is... One hundred and thirty-six thousand seven hundred and five dollars MSRP. Sale price is one oh five nine nine eight. Wow. <laughs> hey. Wow. <laughs> um, don't worry, you guys won't pay one oh five. We will get you a lot better price than that, Andrea. Tell everybody how to get the best price. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or the best thing to do is go to the website, mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact tab with three sections. If you're ready to buy this RV or any other RV, click tab number one. That sends you to general RV, fill out that form, and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this RV and you want to ask me or Will, click that second tab. That sends us an email and we get back to you within 24 hours. Or if you just have a generalized fan question, click that third email and um, that goes to Andrea. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. There is one thing that every tab has in common. They'll get the best price in America. <laughs> Andrea, let's continue the video. All right. So let's start over here, guys. Got Nice big cabinetry look. Yep. With the shelf. Very nice. I like this solid surface countertop. It's very pretty. Yes. Just another cabinet. We got two drawers here. Mm hmm. Got another cabinet. Nice little window Electrical right there. Outlet. Yeah, with the Very lines. nice. And we got a double sink, a, a, a little double sink. Okay, little double. Extension. And then under here, good space. For a trash can cubby up there got a microwave i love that they gave you this whatever it's called i always forget hood range <laughs> and we got a three burner cooktop with the cover and this is oh elite series yes suburban very nice cool with an oven yeah nice and as you can see, all your panels are here, everybody. And you got a pan. Oh, look at this pantry. Yes. Wow. That is incredible. And you got your camp size fridge that runs off your two way, your propane, and your shore power. Man, that's a nice fridge. I saw those in the $10,000 travel trailers. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, and then coming through here, got a it's pocket the door. Step up. Yep. Oh, I, I, I do like their showers. Okay. Well, let's do this first. 
Okay. We nice got a, little thing all there. All right. We got a fan up there, guys. No medicine cabinets, just a mirror. Right? You got this little storage. And then a little bit of storage right there. Got a little copy over there. Check yep. out the toilet paper holder. Oh. How are you? You guys are going to want to stick around for the three things we like and the three things we don't like. It's a plastic toilet. Womp womp. This water house is crazy. <laughs> Take a step down, watch the step. Okay. All right. Now you go in the shower and then nope, I'll go. go. Yep, you go. Oh. Yep, I'm sorry. Yep, you go. No, you go and get in the shower. Get, I'll no, stand over here. Get in the side the shower. Dang it, Andre. Jeez. Why, why are you making it so complicated? I'm sorry. All right. This is how I do the shower with you. See? Now check that okay. out. Okay, yep. That good size is shower. a very good size shower. 30 by 36, nice shower. Really good Plenty job Plenty of here. height in there. I yep. like the door. I like the door as well. Obviously, you're going to have to close this bathroom door over here when you want to take a shower and close the pocket door. All right. All well, right. So here we go into the bedroom. And it looks like that bathroom door must be the privacy or yep. the pocket door. So we've got a queen size bed. Yep. Nice walk around queen size bed. I actually kind of like I, what they did over there. I here like it too. With the space on that side. Yes. You got your TV up here. You got a window your shade got your wardrobe here yep drawer and then we got one big cabinet up here look at that very now nice. i like over there see how they have a uh, cubby there yep it's let me see so you guys can see right here so you can put your phone in there there is wardrobe there and then a drawer here yes and then let's see if we have any storage under the bed. And then here's your ladder for the bunk over the cab. Nope. No storage under the bed. No storage under the bed. Okay. All right. Well, Andrea, <laughs> that's it. That's the review. Watch your step. Yes. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Three things we like about it. Yes, okay. I'll go first. I'll go first. Oh, okay. Right here. I do like how much walk space there is. Whenever you have this type of area where there's no slide out in the bedroom, it's always is a little tight. So they, they positioned it so it is spaced very At, well. With Especially with no slide being in there. Yep. Okay. That is why. Okay, I really do. I love this countertop. Yes. It's beautiful. I love all this counter space. Yes. Plenty of room to prep food and get things ready. Yes, I think that and, is. Yep, that's my like. Fantastic as well. And then number three, I'm gonna show everybody just cause, just cause we can do that. Um, number three, when the slide outs are, hang on a sec. We're, we're just gonna wait. We can hold, cause let me tell you, you guys aren't gonna wanna miss the dislikes. I love how much room there is with the slide in. Andrea, when I mean, the slide out is insane. in, this is an awesome motorhome. I love the U-shaped dinette. I love everything, you know, when the slide out's in. You can still use, you can literally use, no, 100%. Oh, yeah, there's true. nothing, there's nothing that you can't use. It's not blocking anything. That's awesome. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this motorhome. And Andrea. Yes. I do want to say there's no RV out there that has ever been made that hasn't not been sold. Okay. And a lot of people love this brand. They love the Mini Winnie. They love the Spirit. So don't let my, don't let what, I'm going to say something and it's, it's going to be controversial. to each their own. To each their own. Everybody has, this RV is perfect for someone. Okay. I do. Okay. One, okay, you begin. This is what I'll say. For this being a higher end class C, for you having beautiful solar surface cabinetry. Beautiful. Here, you should have a different type of cabinetry. It that looks, That looks yes. more high quality is this than a, me being in a. Uh, Outlook. Outlook. Yep. I feel it's, like I'm in an outlook. Yeah, so the there's, way the way it there's looks there's no distinction. It the way it looks is so wow. Yes. The way 
It looks up here. There's nothing, there's nothing fancy about it. Okay, and here's something else that I will say. The engineering behind this and the construction is is second to none, right? right. When it comes to quality, Winnebago Ethereum. Yo, if you want quality and you don't care how it looks, uh, it's there. But but this is a message that needs to be said. And it's not just about quality, right? It's about the way it looks as well. So let me give you another example. One, plastic toilet. Oh, womp womp. Womp womp. Two, look at that refrigerator. Uh, yes. When you're spending a hundred thousand dollars on a Class C, yes, you can put a residential refrigerator in there. Absolutely. But you can also put the bigger refrigerator, the double door uh, refrigerator. Absolutely, and I, and I agree because that would give you the residential. But Call also, me. also Matt, just again, I have to say, um, the just overall, even the fixtures, like it's just very basic. Right. And I feel like I'm in an Outlook. I wouldn't know the I difference like unless a, I looked at the counter. That's I feel the like only I'm way I'd a, know. Uh, 2012 Winnebago. Yeah. Okay, and then there's a couple more things. <laughs> okay, one, the amount of exterior storage sucks. What are you gonna put in there? Umbrellas, right? The twisty locks suck, right? And then we're gonna finish it up over here. Especially because, on a high end. Right, and, and like a lot of this stuff is cosmetics that we don't like. And again, with cosmetics to each their own. But to wrap it all up, this here. This is your really water hookup. Me. This is your water hookup, right? Yeah. You know? It is what it is. Now, listen, I need everybody to do me a huge favor. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know if you agree with our choices. And not necessarily agree with it, but let us know if you like that we're not going to like every motorhome that we review or sell, okay? It is what it is, and at the same time, you every RV that we review, you guys aren't gonna like, you know, to each their own. Yes. But we really need everybody to leave a comment down below. Absolutely. And support our decision for not liking this motorhome because this video is gonna it's, get some controversy. And this is how things change though. And this is just how it changed. Exactly. And again, this motorhome sold at the uh, Ocala RV show this weekend, and it was perfect for somebody. It just isn't perfect for what Matt and Andrea likes. But that's it, that's the review. Again, thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Leave down in the comments below, let us know what you like and dislike about this motorhome. And if you're in the market for a Class C motorhome like this, make sure you check out one of the videos right there. Andrea, is there anything you wanna say? Yes. <laughs> All right. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Uh, Winnebago will be reading the comments, you hopefully. guys. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Um, hey, that's why we try to stay unbiased, you guys. Yep. We have to be truthful. Yep. We're not out there hurting anybody's feelings. Um, we are just giving our opinions. Yep. But we value RV review crew's opinions. Yep. So make sure you leave your feedback. They do read it. Let's pray that some things do change. Other than that, you know, if you haven't seen the My Waggle, yep. make sure you guys get one of those if you have a pet because what better way to protect your furry babies? Yep. Uh, type in Matt code 50. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Andrea, we'll see you next time.